What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be playing every single Black Ops 3 Zombies map and we are going to be getting to round 25 on all of them. Now this is just a fun little something I thought I would do and if you guys enjoy this I will do this on other Call of Duty Zombies games so make sure to show some love if you're into it. But yeah, we're just getting round 25 on all of the base maps and DLC. We're not going to include Zombie Chronicles because I want to keep this strictly Black Ops 3. So of course, Shads, Giant, GK, Rev, Dryzen, Zetso, you get the picture. 25 on all these. I'm basically going to go through and show you guys the important stuff, stuff I want to talk about, so on and so forth. Chopped it all up and the commentary is going to be over on top of it afterwards. I didn't do commentary during it. I just figured it'd be easier to do it this way. So really, I'm just going to give you guys kind of like a walkthrough, my strategy, what I'm doing, this, this, and that. Just give you guys kind of what I do on a game of zombies. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be uh, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this. So uh, let's get right into it. The first map we're going to start with is Shadows of Evil with special guest Frosty, my boy. Some of you guys may have seen him on the channel, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, Shadows of Evil, here we are on round one. I mean, pretty basic. You guys know the strat. You get the beast modes. You want to unlock everything as quick as you can. Now, this is the perfect route, in my opinion, for the very beginning. Um, this is kind of just how I do it or try to do it when I remember. Get everything done. Get going. You want to get Pack-a-Punched open as quickly as possible. In this case, we do a pretty good job, I think. But yeah, we'll just open all this stuff up and get going on the rituals for the most part. Right here, the first one, Nero's room. The first one you always do. He's a pretty cool little guy. Kind of wish I'd have got him as a character, but Jackie Vincent is honestly one of my favorites, really and truly. But uh, yeah, four rituals, you know, do them in order. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot to say about him. You know what I mean? We got to get our little gate worm, get our little boy right here. Check him out. Shia the gate worm, if you know, you know. Next up right here, we have the boxing arena. Now this is the second one you're going to do. And of course, every two that you do, you're gonna get a what? You're gonna get a Margua spawn. This is basic knowledge, okay? Basic. Everyone knows this. Every two rituals you do, you get a Margua. Pretty simple. As you can see, we moved on to the third one right there. Got the third gate worm. Easy peasy. And the fourth gate worm right there. Easy peasy. With yet again, another Margua spawn. So far, the game's going good. We're chilling. We're having a pretty good setup. I mean, we're ready to open Pack-a-Punch on round three. Also, do not neglect the Civil Protector, man. Get your fuses, man. The Civil Protector is amazing. Uh, but here we are, round four. Open and pack. Kind of messed around for a minute, but you know, round four. That's fine. There he is, everyone. The Shadow Man. Oh my gosh. He's scary. He's scary, for sure. But yeah, man, I love Shats. It's such a great map, dude. It's awesome. All right, so now, like any real logical person would do, is you're gonna take the buses to start working towards the Apothecan Egg to get the Apothecan Sword, and then upgrade the Apothecan Sword, you know, to get the upgraded version. <laughs> a version, which is really good. It is a must have, in my opinion, in this game. Now, I'm on the tram. You can see I'm going from, uh, what, waterfront to the canals or something like that. I seen two. I only seen two of these, so like any good zombie player does, when guess what? You see two, you don't even get the third one. You go right down here, you get in beast mode, you're like, hmm, what am I going to do? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess randomly, just picked one. It was speaking to me, so I did it first try. Not to brag, not to flex, not to, you know, toot my own horn, but I did it first try, okay? That was pretty awesome. That was, um... It doesn't happen too much, really and truly, it doesn't. But uh, now we need to upgrade it. So to upgrade it, you gotta put the egg in the little Cthulhu looking statues and you gotta fill it up with some souls. Pretty straightforward. Um, pretty boring for the most part, especially early game. Kinda slow, kinda tedious. It doesn't really take too long though, so it's, I guess it's really not that bad. You just gotta go to four different locations around the map, fill it up. Don't get a red screen and go down right here, by the way. Don't do that, do not do that. Um, as you can see, we're filling up the second to last one over here in the canal district as we head on over to the ritual room is what I'm going to call it because I don't know what it's called and boom, we're done. We got the sword. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, baby. We got the sword. And, uh, as much as I love the sword, man, the sword is one of my favorite, um, abilities and specialists. There's so many cool ones, but I do really love the sword. If you don't have it upgraded, it kind of sucks. I mean, look at this thing. 
Marg was eating it. Marg was eating it. The zombies, it's kind of whatever. Um, the slash attack, I mean, I don't know. I, It's okay. It's just like, why get the sword if you're not going to upgrade it, you know? There's no reason. Uh, clearly, the Margwa wasn't having it, but it's really all good. Now, to upgrade it, we put it right here. You got to go to your designated spot. Jackie Vincent, he's obviously got to go up into the room right here in the canals. I like I, I like explaining like what I'm doing like but like you guys already know like you guys already know what's going on like I don't need to explain it but I'm still going to um, but yeah you got to go around and do these rituals on the ground there's four of them one in each district Marg was spawn so we did one we did two we did three skip ahead doing the last one two Marg was got our pack a punched gun the brecky is perfect for taking out the Marg was for this it's really good to have I highly recommend it as the civil protector flies by and jump scared me. Now we move it along over here. We put it back, give them the arch of them, and then we accept our reborn sword, the Kralasha Lu Hamana Hamana Hamana. And now we have the upgraded sword. And really, the ability, as you can see right here, is awesome, man. You can call it out, and it just flies around and uh, kills everything and everyone. It is super good super fun to have it is just it helps so much like it really and it lasts a good amount of time all the abilities kind of do but like this one's dope it's dope i don't know why i like it so much i'm very biased shadows of evil is like my favorite map so yeah we're on round 13 chilling um you know so far so good if you ask me so far so good until this point right here dude we had the craziest connection interruption ever round 19 i was like oh game over we're screwed we're lagging our butts off. The Civil Protector, I mean, look at him. Civil Protector picked me up. I can't even move, right? I can't even move. I don't even know what's going on. The Civil Protector gets me, goes over there, it saves my boy. He saves my boy Frosty. Civil Protector came in clutch. I mean, we are lagging our butts off for no reason. And we both get picked up by the Civil Protector. We just happen to have him out. And man, that was, that was such a funny moment. I really thought it was game over. We're going down left and right. Luckily, I managed to make it out of there. Silver Protector comes in clutch, saves my friend as I leave him to die. But yeah, really good. A really good game. Super fun, man. Especially when you're playing with friends. Shadows of Evil is such a good time. Now, we're on round 22. We're about done with this map. We're just trying to finish it up. Bust out these rounds. At this point, we just now got Xenomatter. We just now got it, dude. Round 22, and we're just now getting the Apothecan Servant. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, just busting out these last rounds. And uh, yeah, just vibing. Just vibing. And here we are, 25. And you know what we said? We said, screw it. Let's start doing the Easter egg. Even though we can't finish it, let's start doing it, man. The flag step. Back in the day, we were a three-man squad. And this was the hardest thing we could ever do. This was impossible for us. We were dying, 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 dying. So we were like, all right. Let's go back and redo it and see if it's as hard as I remember because there's no way right? There's no way I can't imagine being that hard and uh, We were right. It's not that hard. The flag step is pretty cool You take the flag around these little locations you put it in don't let it break can't let it break on your back in the flag hole none of that stuff and uh, You got to do this over and over just to do the Easter egg. It's just one of the steps um as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, we actually killed the Shadow Man from this game. We got pretty far. We got as far as you could with just two people. Um, just because why not? You know, it was just it was just fun, dude. It was just a good time. Now, it made me really want to do the Easter egg, I will say. It made me really want to do the Easter egg. So maybe that is something to be on the lookout for. I don't know. Maybe possibly. I'm just saying. Because it's super fun. But uh yeah, so that is Shadows of Evil 25. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the giant, everyone's favorite, the giant. Here we are, right into it. Without further ado, um, I mean, man, the giant. I, there's not much to say. It's um, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. It is about as straightforward as you can get with zombies. You know, it is survival at its finest. There's not a whole lot of tips. There's not a whole lot of tricks. Not a whole lot going on. It's really just camp at the catwalk, do your thing. So that's kind of what I do. Um, I tend to like to hang out in this little area for a little bit. As you can see here on round four, we're just banging out zombies with the Shiva. Pause. That sounds a little weird. We're just killing zombies with the Shiva. Switch it up a couple rounds later. We got the Vesper. We got the Vesper. And really and truly, I didn't do a whole lot this game. I was really just wanting to get it done. Uh, but yeah, round nine right here. Same thing. Shiva. We got some perks. Got double tap. Shiva going crazy. 
I was just trying to use some off meta weapons, you know what I'm saying? Just a little off meta, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, nothing too crazy. Just staying here as long as I can to rack up points because why not? I felt safe, didn't think I was going to die. I mean, again, I'm using a Shiva and Vesper around nine. So yeah, now the rest of the game, not a whole lot happens. Man, I'll be honest, not a whole lot happens. We open pack a bunch, surprise, surprise. We pack a punch a gun, and we kind of just hang around. So I'm going to just fast forward through most of the rest of the game to 25. Um, as you can see right here, we're going to times 1,250 and just bang through this. So enjoy this sped up version of the giant, and I'll see you guys when we get to round 25. Wow, that was awesome. Now we are here on to Zetsubo no Shima. Now on this one, I don't really, again, it's hard to pick what I want to show and what I don't want to show. So I'm kind of just in and out, in and out, explaining what's going on, what we're doing, basic strategy, basic setup. And uh, as you can see right here, right off rip, as you should, you're doing the first skull to get the skull of Nun Sapwe, the skull of PP as I call it. I just call it the PP, really. Um, I call a lot of stuff the PP, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, really good uh, specialist ability. You will see that later on. Again, really love it. One of my favorites. They're all my favorites, but it is what it is. Uh, right here, gotta build that gas mask, man. Gotta get that gas mask. Gotta do these little rituals. Um, the rituals can be kind of annoying with the spiders, and kind of with like the middle of a round and how many zombies spawn and this, this, and that. Like you see right here, I had to buy the Pharaoh. Not a fan of the Pharaoh. Not a fan at all. Um, reload super slow. They're kind of tearing it up. The spiders just destroying me. The zombies destroying that. It really wasn't a good look for uh, me at all. But somehow, we managed to get it, man. We managed to get it. So there's that. Again, building the shield. Gotta build these things, gotta get them done, all right? Now, round five, coasting through, coasting through. Now we're onto the spiders, man. I love to hate the spiders, you know what I'm saying? I love to hate them. Um, they're really annoying, man. They're they're just a, a nuisance. Um, I mean, they're, they fit the map. They're very fitting, but I, uh, just, I'm just not a fan, man. Just not a fan. As we get the second shield piece right here, and then from there, we're going to go over here and turn on power. Put the water in the left side of the map on that little thing. Go to the right side of the map. Put the water in that little thingy. Go down here. And you got the bunker door open. You have temporary power. Now, of course, the Thrasher always spawns. It's super um, annoying, especially when you have a Vesper. Would really like to have a shotgun against those guys. Shotguns are just very useful in general against um, boss zombies. And he is no exception. Finish the shield. We probably need to go and craft that. Oh, look at me. I'm crafting that. And I didn't even realize I was doing that. Boom. That's big. That's big in any game. Shield. Gotta have it. Right here, another piece to the gas mask. Um, I kind of can't lie. It took me a minute to find some of this stuff. It did. It really did. I don't play Zetso a whole lot, so it took me a minute, man. It, it did. And I hate to admit that my uh, zombie intelligence uh, was in question here. And I'm glad you guys didn't see it firsthand. You know, I can make it look like I'm as good as anyone, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I am not that great, so it did take me some time. I think this game 
took me one of the, almost the longest. Now, round nine is upon us, and we are underwater. We are unclogging the, the drain for power, man. We need some power. We got to get our machine tool piece, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, get that stuff going, man, because we need pack a punch. We need pack a punch. We really need everything in this map because it's hard. It's hard, in my opinion, but we do a pretty good job. I do like the underwater sequence, though. I do like it. The only thing is running out of breath kind of sucks, but other than that, it's not really that hard to deal with, you know, pretty easy to get past as we get the power right here get a little max ammo and uh we chill we chill we chill man we're doing pretty good round nine don't have jug yet but we do have the shield so i will take it okay pack a punch is almost done being built nothing crazy man nothing crazy and honestly i don't think anything too crazy even happens in this game this is a pretty tame normal little game um, there's some stuff i wish i could change about how it happened which i'll explain in a little bit as you can see we're a knife and all these don't exactly remember how to get that part i but i remember you have to destroy those and i don't know which ones so i was like screw it let me get them all let me get them all and get stuck in a corner right here because why not let me do that because that's awesome this area down here is risky business as you can see but uh knowing me Knowing my skill, I got out of there, man. I got out of there. Easy, 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 easy. Don't need two down, one to go. Round 11. Is that good pace? I don't know. Is that good? Maybe. I couldn't tell you. I felt like I was doing pretty good. Felt like I was doing pretty good. Um, round 12, doing this ritual right here. I'm going to call them all rituals, man, because that's kind of what they are. Uh, the Razorback's pretty horrible. The Razorback is a bad weapon. Look at this thing. Trash to the max. I was really scared I was going to die or um, they were going to you know, destroy that and have to redo it. Luckily, I got it. Spoiler alert, I got it. Um, I know y'all aren't too surprised by that, but I was a little bit scared. Now here, uh, round 14, we're just trying to live. We're just trying to live. We still don't have Pack-A-Punch. We still don't even have Double Tap. We don't have KT4. Um, we really don't have a lot of anything. Partially struggling, kind of not really. You know, we get out of there. We get out of there for the most part. Just racking up points. Only 10 more rounds to go. You know, what can go wrong? Really, what can go wrong? As we do, I believe this is the last one we need for the skull of PP, the PP skull. Um, don't know why I call it that still. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so we got that going down here with the Razorback in hand because we're a beast and we got an S skill so we're just going to tear these guys up. Now they do die pretty fast anyways um, so it really didn't matter but uh, yeah easy easy money right here and uh, so I pick up the skull right here oh yeah easy all day and immediately go down they just ignore my shield come right up behind me pinch the sides and kill me they kill me pretty quick it felt like it happened a lot faster in real time but they kind of tore me up they kind of tore me up but it's fine we have the non stop way in our hands. We're unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Round 16, look at over here. Uh, we're gonna hit that Pack-A-Punch up, man. It's about time to Pack-A-Punch that Razor back since it's horrible. Um, does Pack-A-Punch help? No, it does not. And if you were to tell me to guess the name of the Pack-A-Punch Razor back, I really couldn't tell you. I couldn't. Um, so skip ahead a few rounds. We're here, round 21. I mean, we're chilling. We're just trying to live, man. I actually forgot to build the gas mask. I got all the pieces and I didn't ever build it. So we got that finally. Now the one thing that was really annoying was trying to get the KT4. This step right here. I don't know what I did wrong, but you know, it wasn't one to open. I had it opened earlier, but there was no spiders. And uh, this time it just uh, wasn't doing nothing. I'm sure I just had to go upstairs and maybe click a button, but um, I wasn't feeling it, man. I just thought it should have opened on its own. I really did, uh, truthfully. Really and truly, it just felt like that's one of them things that it just should have did without me even, um, but it didn't. So we did not get the part. I know, shocking. I really wanted to get the KT4 for you guys, um, especially because it's cool. You know, it'd have been dope. Pack a punch in it. I didn't do the little spider boss fight. Just, I uh, just didn't. I just, I don't know. I liked Zetto, but I wasn't feeling it. When I was playing this, I was kind of like, it's not bad, but it's not like great. You know, I was definitely enjoying some of the other ones more than Zetto for sure. But uh, as you can see right here, round 24, we're just trying to live. We're just trying to make it. We got five perks. Don't know how. Don't tell me. Don't ask me because I don't know. Don't know how that happened. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we got five perks. I'll be honest. But yeah, we only need one more round and uh, Zetsubo complete as it is coming out of my mouth. That is three maps done. Done. Completed. Now we have three more if I'm not mistaken, which is Garad, it is Durizen, and it is Rev. And uh, with that being said, we are about to move right along into Garad Kravi featuring my boy Frosty again. We kind of went crazy um, as I finish this one up right here. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys know I die. I could have lived if I wanted to, but a part of me was just like, nah, I'm just not feeling it. But to be fair, I mean, I, I, th I thought he would have died. I thought he would have died, but that's that. So 
I know that was a lot, but uh, let's keep it rolling. Right into Garad Karavi, man. GK is such a good little map. And the thought about playing it never strikes me as the most fun, just because I know I'll never do good enough to go real far, because it is kind of hard. Um, however, we do pretty good this game. There's a lot of cool stuff you can get, which we are gonna, we're gonna get for the most part. We're gonna do uh, most of the stuff that you can do in this map, and it's a pretty good game. So uh, really, we start off three Graf modules, okay? There's the red, there's the yellow, and there's the blue. You gotta do that, set those up, and uh, protect them from the zombies, of course, as everyone knows, as you can see right here. Um, and then you get your network circuit um, core thingies, and put them down there, and then you got the dragon, basically. It's how you open pack a punch. So you just gotta do three of these in a certain area, and um, yeah, you just do that, and you open pack a punch, you get to ride the dragon, which early round these were kind of annoying man these were a little annoying just having to reload all my guns and they just kept spawning i really thought i was gonna fail them and i didn't want to restart them just because i hate restarting anything um but you know they actually turned out pretty well they're not too bad it was only around six so that makes sense why it wasn't um that hard for us as you can see get that boop and uh ready to go hit that pack up now here we are on round 11 just using some on the houses Using the Wonder Weapons which we just got out of the box. We're just kind of hanging out right here. Just chilling. Catching a vibe. You know what I'm saying? We're catching a vibe. That You know, that's that's the important thing. We're catching a vibe. Um, not really. I think we had a reason to be here. I can't really remember exactly what it was. Because we were just sitting here. Um, we might have just been waiting till the end of the round. I don't even remember. I did this last night now. I'm, re I'm recording the voice in now in the morning. So, bear with me. Um, but yeah, man, Dragon, the greatest cinematic Pack-a-Punch experience of your life, dude. It's, it's pretty nuts how good it actually looks. And we say it every single time, like, it looks so good for no reason at all. Like, kind of blows my mind. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, man. Now, here we are down in Pack-a-Punch. I Pack-a-Punched the PPSH, which you guys didn't know. Uh, well, maybe you didn't know I had. Don't even remember. But... I have the PPSAs of other weapon. Now, the guns are weak, man, especially without double tap. Manglers eat them alive, man. They eat them alive. But right here, we are doing this little thing to get the Dragon Network Circuit Guide thingamajigger. Um, that kind of lets you, as you, yeah, right here, it kind of lets you um, throw down a big airstrike and they're attracted to it. And the dragon shoots down fire at them. It's pretty cool. It's um, I believe it's kind of like in Origins. Um, I believe there's something like that in Origins. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But yeah, man. Um, we're good. We're, we're thinking round 15. Easy money. And uh, right here, man. I don't know what starts happening. It just starts getting crazy. And as much as I do like that Wonder Weapon, sometimes it feels a little weak. Or like the radius ain't that big. Which is fair. Because it is kind of overpowered. But uh, yeah, we were struggling here for a minute. Unfortunately. But yeah. So fast forward round 16. We did get the dragon egg. So when you, when you get the dragon egg to get the um, gauntlet of Siegfried or whatever it's called, you have to get the egg and do a bunch of little challenges. We already did the one where you incubate the egg on some fire, let it cool off. And now we were killing napalm zombies. So we got our napalm zombies, I believe, for the most part. That was all of them. And then boom, right here. Penetrating multi-kills, um, which sounds pretty easy. And so my... Um, goal for that was just kind of hoard them up and the mark three kind of just shoots through them pretty good it kind of shoots through the horde pretty easily man just hoard them up like that if you need to get your penetrating kills and uh you kind of just shoot a couple bullets into it and it works good it works good now i'm you can probably do that with other guns obviously all guns you know bullets kind of carry through for the most part at least a couple zombies or one zombie um but it was definitely easy with the uh mark three here just get a nice little train, and uh, you are good to go. Skip ahead, round 20. We're just hanging out and vibing. We're just hanging out and vibing. I think we still need the penetrating kills here, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually almost go down. I realize quickly, I am not made for this. I am not him. The PBSH is cool and all, but like, look at this thing. It's not the greatest, but I can't resist it. I can't resist. No, I have to get that grim reaps, because it is just so cool. And the pack a bunch camo, dude. Shout out to the Pack-a-Punch camo. It is awesome, dude. That looks fire. 
that looks fire i love it dude that is sick but uh yeah round 21 i don't even know what i'm doing don't even know what i'm doing i got i got him stuck and i killed him um i don't i don't know what i was doing and somehow i i'm just sitting dude i don't even know i'm literally playing like an npc right now i don't even remember why i did this um but yeah round 21 we're just vibing we're chilling nothing crazy and we're getting towards the end of it um 25 is closely upon us i'm trying to get a phoenix up right here which i don't think i do but uh yeah now round 24 is here one more round to go we have the gauntlet of siegfried and we're going crazy i'm going crazy i got the fists out i got my dragon out dude such a fun thing to use i say this every time bro but they are so good i just forget until i use them again like oh yeah this is fire oh yeah this is fire because i mean that is just fun that is just fun that the fists is just so cool just in there whacking them in the face and then you got the big old well it's not even big at all you got the little old dragon um doing its thing man doing its thing it's sick it's sick um might even be underrated a little bit i don't know i don't know how people feel about this i'll be honest but uh here we are around 25 again just finishing up just finishing it up what we can we're going to use our gauntlet here and uh in the round basically in the round and that's going to be garage Kravi, man it was a good time it was a good time i uh i had a lot more fun on this one than i had on zetsubo mainly because i was playing with someone else so uh yeah garage Kravi is done and now we're gonna move on to the one and only der eisendrach der eisendrach i don't know people always call it something silly but we're gonna move on to that and uh, i'm gonna show you how it's done i'm gonna show you how it's done on there real quick all right der eisendrach everyone knows and loves this map it is a fan favorite by a lot a lot of people um claim this to be the best which you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it's not the best it's just not my favorite it's really good though it's really good it's really fun um it's a great time but yeah we fill up these dragons get them done round seven we're flying through you know you guys don't want to see the boring stuff and this video is already long enough and if you have made it this far into the video shout out to you much love and um thank you but Let's continue. Round seven. We're just hoarding them up, chilling. Getting a few kills in here. Nothing crazy. Racking points. Like I said, I got all the dragons done. Good, because now we can get the bow, and we can start upgrading the bow. And of course, we're going to do the lightning bow, just because it's the only one I remember off the top of my head, now that uh, I did the Easter egg forever ago, a million times, I kept dying. But uh, yeah, Wrath of the Ancients, baby. Let's go get that upgraded. A little guide on how to upgrade it. First, you got to shoot the weather vane. I know all you know this, but that's what we're doing. Then you gotta go over here and light the bonfire. So look at that. Boom, first try. Over here, look at this. Boom, first try. Who would have guessed it? I even had to do a double take. And boom, just like that. Another perfect one right down the drain. But then, of course, come here. Get the wall running in. Get the wall running in. You gotta run over these little things on the wall. Don't know what to call them. But, uh, yeah, you just do that. And pretty simple stuff. If you don't know how to upgrade the lightning bow or just never looked it up, you're learning how right now and it's super easy man super super easy and it's really good and fun don't forget and fun yeah so we filled up the urns we got the zombies now we got the lightning arrows we shoot into the bonfires to make them kind of a hybrid mix um which this one's the most annoying one right here and as you can see we kind of messed that up but but yeah i think i missed that one and we counted it anyways i don't really know what that was about <laughs> um but just pretend like I actually hit that one, and we'll be good. So we go back up top, round 12. We're approaching the halfway mark, and we take out the Panzer using the Death Ray, because we want to get them Ragnaroks. Or we want to at least act like we want to get the Ragnaroks, you know what I mean? Because we, uh, newsflash, we do not get them. We do not. But that's cool, because we did pack a bunch. We pack a bunch of the Man of War, baby, the Dread Armada. I love it, man. Not as much as zombies, but I do love it. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Skip ahead around 16, we have the arrow, the maxed out arrow. We're basically done here. We're basically done with the bow. No problems in the world, man. Just chilling. I don't think I went down yet. I would have showed it. But uh, yeah, so once you get this, you got to take it down under. And you got to fill up some souls. And then you got to upgrade a bow. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Unlucky for us, we had a panzer while we were down here. Um, so it did get a little hectic. The panzer kind of doesn't play. He's not one for games, which is unfortunate because I love to play games. He wasn't having it. Um, so this did get a little tight right here. I'm not going to lie. I did kind of maybe possibly almost die. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Electric Cherry probably saved my life. So thank you, Electric Cherry. You are awesome. 
Anyways, round 17, we're getting the upgraded bow. From here on out, it's pretty much free money, bro. It's easy. We just get to pick how we want to kill them. Do we want to train them up like this? Maybe. Do we want to camp? Maybe. We'll do a little bit of both. We'll do a little bit of both, but that's really going to be it for the most part. Drives and drag. Super fun. Good little setup. Bows are a good time. And um, yeah, I really and truly don't have a whole, whole lot else to say about it, um, even though we're on the round 18. Now, finally, skip ahead around 22. We did have a little flare up right here. Um, I forgot about this. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was doing. I thought I thought I was gonna live. I didn't think that would actually happen. So we did go down, but that's not important. Okay, that's not important. What's important is we killed this stupid Panzer in our favorite camp spot in the map that we just kind of came across on our own. I've never even seen anyone sit here, but a uh, pretty cool little spot. You can catch a vibe over here, and uh, just like that, around 25 man. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now onto the final map revelations. Again, joined by my boy Frosty. Like I said, boys, this video is a grind. It is a long one to go through. So if you're still here, you're the go, man. You are the goat, and you should let me know your favorite gun in Black Ops 3, Wonder Weapons excluded. Favorite gun in Black Ops 3 for zombies. Let me know down below if you're still here. Anyways, revelations, man. What a map. What a map. <sighs> what a map. I mean. What more can I say? You know what I mean? It is banging. Um, right here, we're using Idolize. Just because why not, dude? I used a Flavor Hex that I never use, and I was just getting random stuff. And Idolize is kind of goaded. Kind of goaded a little bit. Like, wait a minute, hold on. That's kind of goaded. Um, but yeah, right there. Just doing these, getting these Parasite rounds done. Just the setup stuff, man. You just got to get that setup stuff out of the way. Once you get the setups done, you're good to go. Some people enjoy the setups. Some people enjoy what comes after the setups. I'm kind of a little bit of both. I don't like the setup while I'm doing it, but then after the setup, I'm like, okay, I kind of appreciate the setup. It's 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 a weird it's a weird thing, um, but yeah, we got the summoning altar 5k for my uh, keeper protector, which is super cool. I really like the suit, uh, the, <laughs> the keeper protector, man. He's awesome. Skip ahead, round 10. I'm just trying to get the weapons, man. We're popping immolations. We're getting all kinds of fun little things and we're getting shivas out of the box on round 10 what are we doing a shiva on round 10 what's it like what are we doing for real like come on let's stop playing these games i'm being for real okay i need a pod conservant i need to upgrade it you know what i'm saying i don't need shivas i don't even really need m1927 since it's, it's i love it man but it's really not that good it's really not and i hate saying that because it's so cool dude just leave it in world war ii <laughs> just leave it in world war ii man it's it's just not good in these games but uh yeah so we got the Apothecary Servant, and as you can see here, we're pros. We hit every one of these upgrade spots first try. Did you guys think I wouldn't? Because um, I did, because that's just something I do. I hit them all first try. You just got to shoot these things. Boom, bada bing, boom. Here's number four, I believe. Look at that, lined it up, beautiful. Boop. First try, easy money. On to the fifth and last one over here in Varuk, maybe? Yeah, yeah, because this Margwa almost killed me. I was scared, but I was like, you know what? I got a Peacekeeper, sure. And uh, yeah, we actually got his heads off. Just a cool little thing. Showcase how good I am at zombies. Um, not to brag. But uh, yeah, same thing here. We're kind of just hanging out. Chilling. Now, I don't know why those uh, Shadow Man traps were there. I'm not too sure what that was about. So if you guys know, let me know. Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that good. But anyways, we pack up once the Apothecary Servant. We're rolling, dude. We're absolutely big balling. We're rolling. Now it's basically just the home stretch. I call this the home stretch. But what good game of Revelations is it if I don't have the Pack-a-Punch Peacekeeper? You know what I'm saying? So we obviously got a Pack-a-Punch Peacekeeper. Chill out. We're chilling here for a second, but this isn't the main place we stay at. We kind of go and camp off somewhere else just because the internet's kind of buggy when we both play. Um, which means my internet just sucks, so he was lagging. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this uh, last bit just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. You know me, speeding up is kind of my new thing all of a sudden. Um... Real quick though, let me show you guys how cool the Keeper is. Look at him, dude. He is bad A, man. That's fun. That's awesome. Forgot to show you guys this clip of me getting a max ammo. And then a Panzer just spawns on me and kills me. And out of nowhere, just left curve, straight out of nowhere. He RKO's me, insta-downs me like no one's business. That was scary, dude. That was actually so scary. I mean, it's... Like, that was nuts. I did not expect that. That's the last thing I expected. I'll be 100% honest with you. Fast forward through this. A um, bunch of good stuff here. 
this is what I was talking about fast forward but yeah just these last couple rounds man and just like that we get round 25 so if you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a long call make sure you leave a like and drop a sub to the channel if you're still here man if you are I appreciate it this video kind of took me a long time to make so uh yeah man I will see you boys in the next video we will do this on another black ops soon